Well, Stuart, day one of your court case, uh, can you tell us what happened? There was a bit of a turn of events today, wasn't there? Well, yes. I mean, the, the case has been delayed for a, a day and a half, uh, effectively, to enable me time to complete my preparations. And um, my preparations were disrupted by um, an actual serious death threat uh, made uh, to two friends of mine who I'm lodging with at the moment. Uh, this was late on the Friday evening. Strangely enough, both they and I had earlier in the week predicted that as the case approached, uh, this kind of intimidation and harassment would increase. And sadly, so it did. The police were informed, obviously, on the Friday night and uh, formal complaints had been made. But obviously, uh, it doesn't help that this kind of conduct can be engaged in by people to clearly sabotage uh, preparations for a legal case and perhaps even intimidate witnesses. And the real problem about this is that the individual concerned is well known to the authorities and he is already the subject of a number of formal criminal complaints, full statements that have been given to the police, dating back from at least eight months ago concerning many different uh, uh, instances. Yet no enforcement activity has ever been taken against him by either the Data Protection Commissioner nor the Attorney General. And that's a, a stark example of how biased uh, the law enforcement apparatus is in Jersey. So these death threats that you've received, are you taking them seriously or are they just a bit of a prank? No, they're being taken very seriously. I mean, these are, um, it's not the first occasion where threats of a, of a kind have been made, but this was obviously very serious. Um, you know, my, my friends have taken advice from the police on these matters earlier. And I'm aware of other parties, uh, for example, a, a witness uh, from the defence in my case has also had to make a formal complaint to the police uh, last year concerning witness harassment. But again, the Attorney General's failed to take any action on that. Um, in the course of this whole uh, saga, as it were, obviously what I'm trying to do involves exposing a lot of you know, wrongdoing by different authorities in Jersey. And it's, uh, it's a, a threat to the traditional way of doing things, as it were. So I've had to take advice. In fact, I've been given advice by a, a very senior, experienced police officer about precautions I need to take to protect my own safety. Are you and your hosts in fear of your life, in real fear of, of your lives? Oh, I, I am, absolutely. And the difficulty um, I have, and I think that we have, is that such as the documented and evidenced failure um, of the Attorney General, of the Data Protection Commissioner and of Jersey's authorities to ever enforce the law adequately against these people who threaten us. Um, it encourages those kind of people. They might be thinking, well, you know, if we attacked Stuart Sivray in some way, harmed him, maybe even killed him, now we'd probably get away with it because the Jersey authorities wouldn't care too much and they wouldn't investigate it too much. So that's exactly the kind of serious consideration uh, I do have to take into account, yes. It's a frightening turn of events um, and we'll be reporting on your next uh, appearance in court, which is tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Thanks very much.